Hi, this is trying to help with the firmware for the uh, Ceramic Delta 3D printer. Uh, as you can see here, um, up on GitHub, I have put in a version of uh, this software for the Arduino um, uh, that I've set up uh, according to um, the dimensions on the uh, uh, self-build project. So down the bottom here, you've got a download zip. So if you download that zip, you will then end up with a, um, a folder, and inside that folder, hopefully on your machine, will be all these files. What you're looking for is this Arduino file here, uh, and what's really important that its name must be the same name as your folder here. Um, I did notice when I downloaded this, it's had a master uh, added to the title here that I just had a cut off. So then you want to download your Arduino and open the Arduino software file open and then you're looking for this same folder in here is the folder and the Arduino file there and open. Uh, and so here you have tabs with each of those um, files on it um, but fortunately there is actually only one way ever, well that I've ever used in this this configuration H so it's the second tab along first tab information I don't change anything Confir configuration H is where I've done all the con uh, configuration uh, and hopefully as I say this should be ready to go and um, be the dimensions for the you know the printer is laid out on the website um, most of this doesn't get changed. Um, I think I did have to define the motherboard and uh, as you can see the 33 is the RAMS 1.3 if by any chance you've got something different. Um, then this area in here is um, setting up the arm rods. You can see here delta diagonal rods at 20, uh, well, 240 millimeters. Um, this you can fiddle around with if you find that your uh, when you come to print, the um, uh, print is slightly convexed or concaved. Uh, you can read up more about all these settings here. Uh, I haven't got involved with any of those there. The uh, thermal settings is all the heat settings. Um, although it does have a zero is for not in use, I find if I put under temp sensor here a zero, then the machine hangs when I try to print. So what I do is I, I use a number two there, uh, and if you have a look on the website, there's um, using a th uh, thermostat that comes with um, my um, electronics. I put it in there just uh, so that um, the, the uh, software reads something. Otherwise, all the others are naught because I'm not. We're not getting in a heat uh, involved in a heat bed. Uh, um, I don't do anything with any of that. Um, and then mechanical settings, I don't fiddle with these, except sometimes, depending what end stops you're using, you might have to invert this to false. So it'll be either true or false. If you find that. Uh, when you first run your machine it goes to the top and uh, homes itself and then just doesn't move. One reason for not moving can be because your stepper motors haven't been turned up enough uh, and you need to, um, on the stepper motor driver, just uh, slowly tune them. Or sometimes uh, these are the wrong way so it needs to be turned to a true and false. And it tends to be due to the wiring. Uh, I haven't gotten involved in here at all, and uh, none of this. Um, this reading here, I think I'm right, is when it homes the Z axis up and down, it's um, from the home that is at the top of the, um, the printer, it goes down uh, 320 millimeters. So if you want um, the, it to start printing at a different height, or say your printer is a different height, uh, this is the setting you're wanting to find here. Uh, additional features, 
Um, I haven't fiddled with this at all. Oh, actually, I must have set it up um, to for the um, LCD uh, readout. Um, and I can't exactly remember what I did, but hopefully all this is all correct. Um, so there we are. That Those settings should all be perfectly all right. As I say, I haven't got involved in any other, other of these tabs. If you could do the drop down on the left here, right sorry there are a whole lot more tabs that can be accessed um, you would then connect your computer to your printer uh, and um, that would then you'd end up needing to just make sure your serial ports are working I'm not connected so it's not live uh, and then once you are connected to your Arduino um, through a USB cable you would then upload this software onto your Arduino board and hopefully it all should go smoothly. I right, hope that's useful. Cheers.